Hi guys, welcome to second part of multi-threading interview questions. So let's start with our topic. Okay, so the first question is, uh, there are three threads, T1, T2 and T3 in an application. Okay, so we have three threads currently in our application. Okay, how will you ensure that thread T2 will run after T1? and thread t3 will run after t2 okay so there is some condition given like first t2 should run then t, uh, t1 should run then t2 should run and then t3 should run okay so there is some condition like t2 should be running after t1 and t3 should be running after t2 so how we can achieve this scenario okay so that is our question first of all okay so you guys think about uh, how you can achieve this scenario okay and pause the video we will move for the answer now okay so the answer is while using join method okay the above scenario can be achieved while using join method okay so uh, I have explained three of these topic. Okay, if you don't know how join works, what is the internal uh, implementation, and how how does it uh, works basically? So kindly go through all these uh, three video mentioned here in the green. Okay, so that you will have little uh, more idea about the join method. What is the internal implementation? How does join work, and all that things. Okay. So let's move for the second question. So our second question is, what is different ways to create a thread in Java? Okay, how uh, we can create thread? Okay, so there are four options given. Extending the thread class. Okay, so we can create a thread by extending thread class, which is the first point. Second point says, implementing runnable or callable interface so either we can second point says like either we can implement runnable or callable interface and through that we can create a thread or third option says both a and b are needed to create a thread okay so third option says that without using both of the option we can't create a thread okay so we need both of the options a and b both simultaneously then only we can able to create thread okay so fourth option says no either a or b can be used so here any one is more than sufficient to create a thread okay so uh, you guys can think of the answer what is the answer and think about your uh, uh, how you can uh, means what is the correct answer for this okay so let's see the answer what is the correct answer of it so the correct answer is d okay so either a or b is sufficient enough to create a thread okay so you can create a thread either by extending a thread class or by implementing runnable or callable interface okay so this is the uh, D was the answer. Okay, so let's move for the second question now. Okay, what is green thread model? Okay, what is difference between green thread and native thread in Java? Okay, so there are something, uh, some concept named as thread model. Okay, which I have explained you earlier. Okay, so if you would have seen that. Uh, video you will get to know what is this uh, green thread and native thread model okay so uh, let's see the answer what is the answer for this question so thread model is uh, specify the creation of management okay so here I have not given the proper answer actually if you want to see the proper answer you can go through the uh, below uh, uh, video okay so this is the video green thread and native thread model you can go through it and you will get proper description about uh, this question okay so basically thread model is something how threads are created and managed okay so that's what I am trying to uh, tell here in the answer so these 
are the different ways of creation and management of the thread okay how which library is used to uh, create a green thread which library is used to create native thread and how JVM try to manages this threads so this is a proper description or proper explanation is given in the uh, this topic green thread and native thread model okay which is the part third of multi-threading in Java which I have uh, provided already okay so kindly go through that video and you will have proper information about uh, this green thread and native thread okay so let's move for the second question now okay so what are the different states of thread life cycle okay so there are four option again is given and if you don't know what are the information what are the states if you have any confusion kindly go through this video i have explained there are six proper state which is enum of a thread class and there is one fundamental state we always say as a running okay so that i have explained in this uh, topic okay so there are four options given okay so first is new running wait and destroy new running and destroy or new running wait or timed waiting create running and waiting so these are the four options which is the appropriate option you have to select it okay so the exact answer is and the correct answer is c okay so new runnable waiting and timed waiting these are the appropriate state of a thread class okay rest here some of them are there some of them are not there like here create there is no such state of a thread class okay here running running is not exactly the state of a thread class it's fundamental concept okay so running is also not destroy is also not so in such a way every has few of them which is not the state but c option is correct because all the states what is mentioned in the c option is correct okay so let's move for the next question what is our next question when does jvm okay jvm creates memory for a thread before thread creation or after thread creation of any or any other way so this is the question which is related to thread memory management okay how jvm trying to manages the memory for a thread okay it can be related to the thread invocation how thread invokes or how a thread processes the data all things are related over here okay so let's uh, see the answer what is the answer so basically i have not provided the answer because already i have provided one of the uh, video for it okay so thread memory management so kindly go through that uh, video which will explain you how uh, jvm manages the memory uh, we know that jvm creates stack for each thread okay stacks for thread to manages their memory but how it works i have explained properly in this video okay so kindly go through this multi-threading part 4 video which is thread memory management you will have clear idea about that okay so uh, this was the small uh, videos uh, which i was uh, trying to put some question and trying to check our fundamental concepts or fundamental knowledge about threading okay so guys i think so uh, if you uh, you would have got all the concepts what i was trying to cover into this video so uh, if you like this video kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be getting the notification for the further videos okay thanks guys thanks for watching this video once again